Hi, I'm Dr. Jack Cush, executive editor of RoomNow.com, coming to you from ULAR 2018. Today I attended an interesting session on deck scanning dual energy CT scans in gout with a great lecture from Nicola Dalpa. She began the lecture by telling us that this has been around for about 10 years, the first reports appearing in 2007 and 2009. The role of this particular imaging modality is like other imaging modalities to help us with diagnosis and whatnot, but she believes that the role of deck scanning is probably most important in diagnosis, especially where diagnosis is difficult and also in the assessment of disease activity and or disease complications. It is not necessary to be done for most patients who have clear tophaceous gout, but it may be necessary if you feel that gout could be responsible for the complications a patient is exhibiting and whether you want to see if tophi and urate deposits may in fact be this, the cause of that. Interestingly, she, sh she showed us that the resolution of the lesions that can be found by deck scanning can be as low as 0 0.01 uh, square centimeters. So it's really quite small. But it is important that those uh, crystals be in high concentrations and tightly packed together, otherwise it may not show up. So there may be negatives in patients with gout, and there may be also be false positives, including artifact from, mo from motion and whatnot. Uh, thick skin, for instance, might be an, another reason for this. But she showed us some uh, good examples of where it shows up in joints, around joints, on tendons, actually in soft tissues, um, and basically said that, that this is a, 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 a modality that has a fairly good sensitivity. And the question is, which is a more sensitive and or more specific test, either ultrasound with its double contour sign and beading, or the uh, deck scan. And an analysis that she showed that um, between the two, um, I'm looking at the data here, ultrasound, ultrasound, deck, ultrasound, deck, 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 ultrasound, and deck, and deck. It's split as far as sensitivity. When it comes to uh, specificity, they're both pretty good, maybe a little bit better with deck scanning, but these are both, you know, highly sensitive, highly specific uh, modalities that can be used. Obviously, ultrasound's a lot cheaper, a lot easier, a lot more portable, uh, and has no radiation. Radiation exposure here is about that seen with a usual CT scan, so it is not uh, inconsequential. So the question is, uh, is this going to be the new standard of care, or is this still a research tool or one that can only be used uh, in um, in the management of difficult patients.